Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turk. Today, we're taking a look at a very weird shaped product that may be healthy for you. It's the Anchor Wireless Vertical Mouse, and this thing actually surprised me. So, let's get into it. Chances are, if you've ever had any sort of wrist pain, you've Googled how to get rid of it, right? Well, I did the same thing a few months ago for my wife, actually, and I stumbled upon the concept of the vertical computer mouse. Naturally, I went straight to Amazon and ordered the very first one, which ended up having the best and most reviews, so that's how I got this thing. Before getting into the details of this mouse, let's talk about why a vertical mouse may be a good idea. Okay, so check this out. Get up out of your chair and stand up. I'll give you a second. Now start with your hands and your arms at your side and just naturally bend your elbows and raise your hands up. Your hands came up like this, right? Our natural hand position with the elbow bent is actually the handshake position, just like we did there. When using a traditional mouse, you are forced to rotate your wrist, and this is what's causing pain or even carpal tunnel. Keeping your wrist twisted like this for a long period of time is bad for you, and this is why the vertical mouse was invented. So let's get on to the actual review of this specific vertical mouse from Anchor. This model is a 2.4 gigahertz version with a tiny USB dongle. It supports up to 1600 dpi but you can only select three different options which is kind of a bummer you select these by pressing the top side button and this will cycle between 800 1200 and 1600 dpi i found for everyday computing not gaming that 1200 dpi was pretty good one thing to note is the range from your dongle definitely affects accuracy when I got more than a couple feet away, it got super choppy and it's definitely something to be aware of. Another set of buttons are the two thumb buttons which automatically go next and previous page in internet browsers. I personally didn't use these buttons very much because I just didn't think they were placed right and I have to bend my thumb too much to use them, but if you have smaller hands this might work better for you. There's also a notch scroll wheel which is very precise and the left and right buttons actually had a very satisfying click that is somehow better than a lot of mice I tested in the past. I don't know if Anchor has always produced great clicks like this, but I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for their future mice. On the bottom of the mouse is an on off switch, the battery compartment for two AAA batteries, and a very convenient port to plug the USB dongle in when traveling. Seriously, why doesn't every mouse have this? For a few more features, the mouse comes ready to go out of the box and no drivers are needed. I haven't tested this myself, but the Amazon page says that the mouse is compatible with Mac OS X, but the next and back buttons will not work. It has an automatic sleep time of 8 minutes, which I actually found to be annoying at some times. After watching a YouTube video, I found myself having to click to wake it up. I wish it was more like 20 minutes or so. And finally, it's hard to comment on battery life. I haven't had to change the battery at all, and I've been using it off and on for a couple months, but not as my daily driver. And saving the best for last, my favorite feature has to be the material that this mouse is made of. For this cheaper price range, I expected a pure slippery plastic mouse, but it's made with a smooth rubbery surface that was far better than I anticipated. So all those specs and features features are great on paper, but how does it actually perform in the real world? I found this mouse to be a little inaccurate when editing videos and definitely playing games, but I think it's plenty accurate enough for a typical office worker or a casual YouTube viewer. Also, I love that I actually got used to this mouse within a matter of days. Trust me, when I first started using this mouse, my cursor was all over the place. There's definitely a learning curve, but it actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. Overall, I sincerely believe if you're having risk pain when using a mouse that you should definitely give this a go. And being only 20 bucks and with Amazon's return policy, you might as well try it out and see for yourself. Well that wraps up my review of the Anchor Wireless Vertical Mouse. You guys know I love healthy tech products like this. I just reviewed a standing desk which you should definitely check out because that one was awesome. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel and as always thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.